Hi everybody and thanks for tuning in to my channel again. I've been working on a deep frame project today which is all about um, an adventure in ancient Egypt and it's called The Curse of Imhotep. Um, and the first thing that you notice in this box is the diary and it says The Curse of Imhotep, my diary, 1934. And it's like a red leather diary with a little um, Egyptian sphinx on the cover with some rubies. And the first entry of the diary says, It was the summer of 1934 and my research had led me to the Valley of the Kings. And as you can see, behind everything, there's maps, ancient maps of ancient Egypt. So the next entry says, uh, the gods were certainly not smiling on me. Watching, but not smiling. And to go with the watching, there's an eye of Horus there. Nice ancient eye of Horus. And the next step in the story, because it, it's a sort of a little story, is that our adventurer says that the dust storm came from nowhere so they're in the desert they're in the valley of the kings and out of nowhere there comes a dust storm and there's a little jar with some of the dust in it there and the next entry says my hand grasped at something in the dark the mummy shroud ripped in my hand and there's a little piece of the mummy shroud that they managed to rip as perhaps something moved away in the darkness. Who knows? But because of the desert storm, the canopic jars were smashed, but I scraped some of the contents into a file. There's some of the contents there. As you know, canopic jars were the jars that they put the pharaoh's um, internal organs in. And there's a little note over here, actually, that says... Um, that there are four protective deities um, used to guard the coffins and the canopic jars um, as well as the deceased pharaohs. So there's some deities in there with the pharaohs. And going along the line of deities, we see that there's reference to one here called Tauret, and she is another hybrid creature and she does in fact resemble a Nile crocodile. Um, she only actually half resembles a Nile crocodile in reality, but um, I don't think we were able to get the full loveliness of her in the case. And there we can see the bottom of the case. So that's what I have in fact been working on today. I hope you like it. I really like it a lot. Um, there's just like little touches that I quite like, like little gold suns on the heads of the gods at the bottom, and the, I hope, authentic uh, typewriter font from our explorer's diary there. And I don't know, I just, I think it's um, different. I like it myself. I like the little Nile crocodile goddess there, Tauret. I especially like the bit of shroud there, ripped from the mummy, who may or may not have been moving about in the dark. And then, obviously, the little eye of Horus up there, obviously prized off something that our adventurer has discovered in the tomb. So... That's the third in my deep box frame projects and I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me and see you for the next one.